let's discuss the significance of Cori cycle. Cori cycle is glucose lactate cycle. In case of muscles, when the muscles are normally contracting, the glucose which are already present in the muscles or glycogen reservoir present in the muscle can go for a breakdown and they can produce pyruvate. From pyruvate, they can produce lactate. Now, when the lactate is supposed to go for gluconeogenesis, it does not happen in the muscles easily because gluconeogenesis can happen only in the liver or in the kidney and muscles will be lacking glucose 6-phosphatase and fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase because of which the lactate cannot become glucose inside the muscles. Now, that lactate, if it accumulates in the muscle, it can become very painful and toxic to the muscle cells. So, the lactate is left into the blood. Through the blood, the lactate goes into the liver. In the liver, lactate will become pyruvate and pyruvate will go for gluconeogenesis to become glucose. Now, there is regeneration of glucose. That glucose will again come back into circulation and it can go to the muscles where the muscles will use the glucose again for glycolysis. Now, whenever a person is having extraordinary amount of muscle contraction, you will be producing more amount of lactate, right? So, you do not want the lactate to accumulate much inside the muscle tissue. That is why lactate should be liberated into the blood to become a part of gluconeogenesis in the liver. That is the function of Cori cycle to liberate the lactic acid accumulating in the muscle and to regenerate the glucose so that the muscles can be given glucose for acting with.